Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about my favorite things about books. I primarily read romance and young adult novels with a strong female lead. Um, that's just my personal like. So the thing I really love is a strong female lead. I love that. I love when a woman, before it was like outside of any guy she might meet in the book, I love it when she is a strong person and is able to stand on her own and become her own person outside of the romance. I want her to um, be capable and not be whiny or weak. I mean, there is, there's a time to lean on people and that it's a strength to know when that is appropriate. Um, I also like having the guy be kind of a jerk or untouchable. I want him to be untouchable out here where she's the only one that can reach him when he's only soft for her. He's just this hard, you know, beast of a man or whatever, you know, like maybe he scowls at everybody or um, he has a reputation for being mean or whatever it is, or maybe he is the womanizer and she makes him come to heal a little bit where she's the one that makes him fall for her. It's, I, that's my trope. Those are the tropes I like. I also love mysteries inside of that or around that. Um, when there's a conspiracy going on and she has to figure it out or he, you know, they have to figure it out or um, something inky is going on or, uh, you know, like, oh gosh, let me see. Oh, so I read a book recently. Um, I think I reviewed it already <laughs> where she, uh, there was like a conspiracy, um, at the school. Oh, I didn't tell you about this. So you don't even know what I'm talking about. There was this conspiracy at her school, of uh, where people were being killed and, um, there was a cult and she had to figure out who the cult members were before she got killed. Um, I really like that stuff. I like when there's more to the story than just sex. I don't read sex scenes. I kind of just skip through them. I might skim them to just make sure I'm not missing dialogue or meanwhile or anything like that. Um, which I love complexities as well. Complexity in a story is, um, I, I love when an author is five books ahead. They've already planned out that this is how the story is going to go and these are the little inklings that it's going to end up here, but we don't know. Um, or uh, she paints something like, I love it in Doctor Who when that happens, where, um, you know, like uh, the 21, 27 planets um, that, you know, all along um, the Doctor and Donna were figuring out like, hey, that adipose planet went missing or, oh, hey, what about Rexacorpitalis, <laughs> however you say it, that went missing, you know, and, and it's been episodes of this, I love that stuff in books too. Um, when an author can do that, oh man, that's one of my favorite things. Um, Christine Feehan is amazing at that. Her entire, all of her series, she does that 100%. That is her, like, she's amazing um who else does that uh oh um <laughs> leia stone she's great with that uh let's see lindsay sands same thing she writes whole family you know this whole family dynamic um with her argeno series um i just love that stuff absolutely adore complexities where um some little thing in book one or the first chapter doesn't make any sense, but you notice it in book five or whatever it is. Uh, Amy Bartle does this in her premonition series um, where she just puts in all of these little nuggets of clues and you don't know what's happening until the very end and you're like, oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Um, and yeah, she's fantastic and amazing. Uh, uh, I will do a video if you want, uh, yeah, I'm, even if you don't want it, I'm doing a video. I'll do a video where I outline my favorite authors and why I reread them constantly. What makes them so captivating for me. Um, and the, another thing I love in books 
is when there are obscure references. I love obscure references when um, they just make offhanded comments about Daleks or um, Stargate or just little geeky things that only fans would understand um, or references to uh, characters that only fans would understand. Um, actually, uh, CM Skunik does this with anime characters and it is wonderful. I love it. I love when she like references different things. It's one of my favorites. Um, and then when there is um, a surprisingly satisfying ending, like it doesn't end up exactly the way you thought it would, but it's still satisfying. Amy Bartle is amazing at this. Like freaking wow. She is the queen of the satisfyingly surprising ending um, because the girls in her books, like while it's a romance, you know, through, there's romances throughout her books, she doesn't always end up with the guy, but you're never mad that she doesn't end up with the guy. Like you have to read her books to understand this. It is just super satisfying and I love her. I will I will review a few of her books for you so that you can understand why I love her. And then, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, those are some of the things that I find intriguing and captivating that make me want to reread authors, that make me um, read their books no matter what. Uh, this is my, my loves of books, things that make me captivated. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button. I'll do more of these things I love, people I love, rankings, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow.